When the people fear their government, then they've got tyranny. When the government is fearful of its people, then the people have liberty. Your right to self-protection and defense against intruders and against a tyrannous government is on assault. It's just a little article for the New Jersey Assembly and on Monday they got two bills, Bill 588 and Bill 513. And the Assemblyman L. Grace Spencer sponsored it and they're claiming it may be at least the opinion of this writer of the article is claiming that it's disguised as a police safety legislation aimed at armor-piercing ammo which is already has a law prohibiting that type of ammunition in this measure the article goes on to read it's trying to open the door to sweeping ammo ammunition ban by an unelected public official by executive fiat common hunting target and self-defense ammunition would be subject to ban along with BBs air gun pellets non-metallic ammunition like plastic airsoft pellets and if the Attorney General decides that they pose a threat to the safety and well-being of law enforcement then they'll get their way now this bill only mentions handgun ammunition but it's not limited to handgun ammunition it would apply to all rifle ammunition to which a handgun is ever made and a lot of handgun manufacturers are growing in number making handgun models that shoot rifle caliber ammo and the line between handgun and ammo or rifle ammo is blurred the New Jersey police state police have already begun treating rifle ammo in this category as if it were handgun ammo for regulation purposes as long as a handgun exists that shoots a particular caliber of rifle ammo New Jersey treats that ammo as if it were handgun ammo the assembly law and public safety committee is also scheduled to consider A1013 which is sponsored by Charles Maynard and that would criminalize the use of a defaced or stolen firearm that is used to injure a police officer and enhances penalties for defacing a firearm. One provision of this police safety legislation significantly increases the penalties to defaced firearms. Well, we're not to we're not really discussing defacing the firearm. We're discussing if they couldn't take your weapons away they would take the ammunition away that you would load your weapons with for your self-defense so that was the purpose of showing this if there's still screwball outfits out there that want to ban your ability to protect yourself I, I don't think they'll ever get it myself. I don't think we the people will ever take it. I can imagine what the situation would end up being like if they did that. I can just imagine that. <clears throat> oh, got a couple of short videos here. This one. is the other night whenever I told you that the moon and uh, Venus were fairly close together and I looked up and saw it and I just got a little piece of the action there it looked pretty cool that, that first night that I saw it I think is whenever it looked best and this would be then Now this next one it didn't turn out quite as well but uh, 
this was the other night after we'd done had those CMEs and the moon is right you can see it to the right of all those lights just barely above the horizon it's kind of blurry and you can't see it because that corona I saw it and I went inside to get my little flip camera and when I come back out that uh, well that corona had changed it in like two minutes it was like bright it looked like smiley face is what it looked like I'm see I'm walking I'm trying to get close where I can get a better shot but it's the corona is just beginning to blur it real good but in about two minutes it just changed when I came out there it was not near near as clear but it sure did look strange I had a bunch of guys from work saying uh, why is you know why is the moon tilted sideways and stuff and I really couldn't answer them I mean the shadowing on it I, I'm not used to seeing it that way I don't see it that way very often and it catches my eye when I do but it sure looked like a smiley face the illumination was on the bottom it was curled up just like a smile and uh, it had the haze you know it had the corona haze it just made it look really 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 strange but like I said you get people wanting to take your guns and your ammo away and you're you're getting ready to get into some type of a uh, tyrannical fight because if, if even if they did want to take guns and ammo away people are not willingly going to do that they're going to say hell no and when that happens you're going to have a big big fight I've got some things here and I know if I couldn't get the ammunition I would not be pleased at all and I would look for a way to get it I would demand that I could get it and if somebody come knocking on the door or whatever and wanted to take the guns away well hey all bets are off on that so be aware that you got people like Grace Spencer and that are trying to push legislation to ban things like this. You got to keep your eyes open because they'll sure do it right in front of you if you're not paying attention. That's key. Everybody got to be paying attention because it's an all-out assault on so many different areas of our lives and throughout the world that it's very hard to keep up with everything. Hope everybody's having a good Saturday. I've got some running around to do. I'm going to cut this short and I'll talk to y'all sometime soon, maybe tonight, later. God bless and have a good weekend. I hope everything is going okay for everyone.